Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Cops Court and Coffee and on this week's episode we will be discussing the top five things that affect your BAC which is your blood alcohol concentration. This is part of a series that we're doing that revolves around drinking and driving and the effects of alcohols. Stick around. Approximately one half ounce of alcohol can be found in one shot of liquor, one 12 ounce beer, or one five ounce glass of wine. Different factors affect the body's absorption of alcohol as follows. All right, so I'll start it off. All right. Yeah. Now, the single most factor is the number of drinks that you have. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that the number of alcoholic drinks consumed is a factor in the BAC. Mm -hmm. Now, a higher number of drinks consumed will obviously result in a higher BAC. The second thing is the speed of drinking. When alcoholic drinks are consumed more quickly, the blood BAC will elevate faster. If the same number of drinks is consumed over a shorter and a longer period of time, the drinks consumed over the shorter period of time will re reach a high BAC than those consumed over the longer period of time. Hmm. The BAC does not just elevate more quickly, it reaches a higher level. Let's see, that I didn't know. Right. Now, the next factor to consider is gender. When one pound of body weight is compared between men and women, the pound of body weight of women Somebody's going to be mad about this one. Typically have more body fat and less water. Alcohol does not enter fat cells as easily as other types of body cells. And therefore, alcohol tends to remain longer in the bloodstreams of women, which causes them to reach a higher BAC than men with the same amount of alcohol that is consumed. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. Another thing to consider is your weight. People who weigh more generally have more water present in their bodies. This water has a dilution effect on alcohol that is consumed resulting in lower BAC. For example, two people consume the same amount of alcohol. The person who weighs more will generally have a lower BAC if, if other factors are equal. It's mm, a good example. Again, something that I should have known but i didn't know right. now the last thing that will influence your bac is food now food in the stomach will actually slow the absorption of consumed alcohol into the bloodstream this is because a valve that's actually at the bottom of the stomach closes at the meals so that food can stay in the stomach and be digested now this keeps the consumed alcohol also in the stomach where it is absorbed less less efficiently than in the small intestine. So eat up those hot wings in the bar. <laughs> well, those are the factors that, de that directly influence your BAC. It is important to remember that just because you don't feel drunk, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you're not intoxicated. It also doesn't mean that your motor skills and depth perception have not been affected. Yeah, people think, oh, I'm not drunk. Uh, I'm, all, I'm good. I'm thing. all right. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Now, when you drink, you have to take into consideration how much you weigh, what type of alcohol you've been drinking, your metabolism, how soon you're considering operating some type of equipment or driving a car, and how long you've been drinking. And trust me, that's just for starters. So again, this is just one video in a series of videos that we're going to be doing that's going to be covering the topic of drinking and driving and your BAC. And actually, in the next uh, video, I'm going to be doing a unboxing of a portable breathalyzer called the Backtrack Mobile Pro. Now, we actually got this from a company, Backtrack, and I do want to take a second out to thank the Vice President of Marketing, Stacey Sachs, and the, gress the great folks that are there for actually sending us this test unit. Yes, and after the unboxing video, we're actually going to be testing out in a live setting with a couple of 
willing test subjects. A willing test subjects. <laughs> now, you know, I, I expressed uh, to Stacy in the email that I was actually excited about this project and that we actually appreciate, you know, Backtrack for being a part of this project. Well, that's all we have. So please make sure you guys like and share the video and to be sure to comment below on what you think and other topics you want to see. Absolutely, because, you know, of course, we love engaging you guys. So please make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, Google+, LinkedIn. Listen, we're out there. You know how to find us. Those comments below are actually, you know, what we read and we we actually yeah, comment we do. back personally. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's all we have. And as always, you know, we want you guys to remember that no one cares like we do. And of course, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cool. I heard Doritos are pretty good after you've been drinking. <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> <laughs>